All right, so the battery rack is now done. I finished up the last two little bits. There's a, there's the back rack there. That's a little square that's going to hold three batteries. And here's the main rack, and here's the little front rack there. So once again, everything's just kind of finger tight. So it's uh, it's all still loose, but it's uh, pretty secure. So here you can see like how how wide the bike is here. There's uh, not much room at all. So to fit five across, you'd really need at least 12 inches, probably closer to 12 and a half. And I just have the ruler laid out here, really uh, kind of uh, approximately here. And you can see, you know, we have about 12 and a half inches at this spot right here. But you can see the frame of the bike really curves, so you don't really, this, this width here where it is greater than 12 and a half inches, it's really not enough room to get a battery in there, so it just, it won't fit. And then lower down where the, um, there's a kind of a opening here and this uh, subframe part comes out a little bit here. There's enough room in there. Uh, so five could fit across. Um, but the way I have it set up here, this middle rung is just a bit too high. And so the batteries, they bump into this, um, this bulkhead here. So yeah, the only way I could, uh, see so yeah, the only way, you can't really fit, uh, five across in the setup I have. Uh, you can fit five across, uh, you just need to lower, this This middle rung here would need to be lowered, but yeah, really there's no point, because my, my goal was to fit 24 in here, and I fit 24 in here, so it's all good. And uh, yeah, so this battery rack ended up being a bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest, because, um, well, just assembling it really was, it was hard, because this back rack here, holy man, just to bolt this bolt this thing in and I had to like remove the whole back rack here take it all out drill the holes I need to drill bolt it all back together and then um, I kind of realized probably through that in order to get it in the bike I really need to kind of assemble it in the bike and so like each one of these braces and bars and things needed to go in separately one at a time and oh it was just a major pain in the butt but I got it in there so it's it's all good, and that sucker's not coming out again. I'm not doing that again, so, yeah. So it's plenty strong. It's mounted the frame in lots of places. There's several bolts holding it here and here. There's multiple bolts along the bottom holding it. There's another uh, mounting point up here that's holding the front tower. So this thing, it's really strong. It's got lots of mounting points. So there's definitely no danger of this thing falling apart anytime soon. And yeah, all these bolts are still loose. I just need to tighten them up, they're just hand tight. So yeah, you can see how uh, fitting any more than four across, now let's get this ruler out of the way, if I can. Yeah. Fitting any more than four across in any one spot is pretty tough. So you can see, because not only do I have to leave room for four, that was better, doesn't quite fit in. Yeah, I need to tighten up those bolts there for it to fit in. But uh, yeah, in order to fit uh, five across, you'd really need to, there'd only be one specific spot on the whole bike where you'd be able to fit five across. But even with four across, you know, you st I still need the room for the end plates and everything like that, right? And the hose clamps that go around. So it takes up a bit more space than just the batteries themselves as well. And I'm sure it would be more space efficient to, you know, lay these on their sides and just stack them up that way. Because with the with the three vertical steps stack setup I have, you know I'm I'm definitely wasting space in between the cells. If you had let's say all the terminals facing out towards the outside of the bike, then uh, you don't need access to like you have automatic access to all these terminals on the right and left side of the bike if you were to lay them out that way. So you don't need to leave any space in the middle. So you could it would be more space efficient that way. But from everything I've read and uh, just things I've heard people say on forums and things, these batteries are best operated uh, upright. A lot of people run them on their side and stuff and say they've had no problems, but just to be on the safe side, I wanted to do this. And also, I knew that they would be able to fit this way because that's the way I originally planned. So, yeah, that's that's the route I went. So, yeah, I'm just basically going to be... Uh, now I have to cut out a whole bunch of those end plates, which... Oh man, I've done enough cutting for today, so I'm going to call it a day. But, uh, yeah, I need to cut out a whole whack bunch of those and, and, uh, 
set all those up and then uh, bolt all the modules together and or sorry a uh, clothes clamp all the modules together and then uh, secure them down and then it's just wiring time so yeah I'm excited for that hopefully I'll get this motor spinning soon I want to I want to see what it's uh, I know what it sounds like running off just a 12 volt battery but uh, I don't really know what it sounds like running with any kind of serious punch behind it so it'll be interesting to see and yeah as well um, yeah, I'm gonna get this piece of wood under the kickstand here and, and as well too like I only ran it for about um, maybe 10 minutes tops on the little 12 volt battery I had so uh, I really need to run that motor some more at low speed to break in those brushes because uh, they're definitely not seated yet so see so yeah, you can see this whole myriad of supports and mounts now and uh, yeah, all the batteries fit in there, so it's good to go. I'm just gonna work my way around and tighten up these bolts and call her call her a day, I think. Alright, talk to you later.